Okay, so this one, I'm going to repeat exactly what I have done. I'm going to repeat what exactly I have done. The angle is 2x minus 78. Doesn't matter the angle. I still will be finding my basic angle by ignoring the negative. Please don't forget to ignore the negative. There will be some students who, who forget to ignore the negative. Then they, later on, they get themselves themselves like very confused. Okay. And then the basic angle is 57.5. Okay. Now, then in this case, let's go through the step. Tangent is negative. So it will be the second and the fourth quadrant. So still repeat the steps. So I'm going to be checking the range. I'm going to be checking the range. So the checking of the range right will be the same like what we did just now. So I'm going to multiply by two. Then I'm going to subtract a 78. If you subtract a 78, you will get 642. So don't forget the significance of this, this range. That means the angle can start from minus 78 till 642. Okay. Now, then after that, I, I can start doing things already. I can start finding my angles already. However, there's a trick to this question. Okay, the trick is this one. Uh, in the very, very first video, right, I mentioned to you that we always follow this. We will always follow this to decide the quadrant. So this is first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant, this is fourth quadrant. So this time around, there is a negative angle. The negative angle, okay, I'm going to tell you about uh, quadrant number four first. So, okay, I'm going to tell you about quadrant number four. So fourth quadrant, we will usually do it like this. So fourth quadrant is 360 minus alpha. This whole thing is 360 minus alpha. So where is alpha? Alpha is here. So another way for fourth quadrant, Another way for fourth quadrant is minus alpha. So another way of doing fourth quadrant is a minus alpha. That means, right, you still reach the same destination. This is the destination. I can reach the same destination by going a very big round a very big round of 360 minus alpha or I can reach the same destination by going a shortcut, you know, the opposite direction. So that means, right, fourth quadrant can also be minus alpha. Okay, so okay, let's add on. Uh. So alpha, 180 minus alpha, 180 plus alpha. 360 minus alpha. So right now, we are going to add on minus alpha for the fourth quadrant. Okay, when will it be applicable? It will be applicable when the range cover a very, very negative angle. So when does it happen? Can you see there is a very negative angle? 2x minus 78 can start from negative 78. Because of that, that means, right, my fourth quadrant can be minus alpha or 360 minus alpha. 
So it can be minus alpha or 360 minus alpha. So in this question, it's valid because the range starts from minus 78. Okay, so I'm going to um, work out the value now. So 2x minus 78 can be second or fourth quadrant. Okay, typically we'll start from the second quadrant. But right now, because fourth quadrant can be negative, I am going to start from negative. Negative 57.5 is still within this range. So negative 57.5, that is the first uh, fourth quadrant. And I'm going on to the second quadrant. Okay, then after that, so this is the second, uh, fourth quadrant, second quadrant. So I'm going to go on a bit more. Okay, so I can still go until 600 something, right? So I'm going to add a 360. I get another answer. I'm going to add another 360. So I get another answer. So currently I got four answers for 2x minus 78. I'm going to be checking. Can I do this or not? Can I still add on or not? So if you, you won't know until you go and punch calculator. You go and punch calculator. You will find that you will get this number. You will get 662.5. If you go on another 360, you will get 662.5. It exceeded this already. Can you see 662.5 overshot the 642? So that means don't go, don't carry on anymore. So don't carry on anymore. That will be the four answers for 2x minus 78. So each of the four answers, you are going to add a 78, then divide by 2. So the four answers that you decided, you will add a 78 and divide by 2. And the four answers that you gotten, you make sure it is within zero to 360. Okay, so the, in this question, right, the is an extra option for fourth quadrant minus alpha. So in case you don't get the idea, right, the fourth quadrant, is like getting the fourth quadrant, you can go to a very you can go through a very big round. You can go through a very, very big round to get to the fourth quadrant. You can, you know, if you run, if you go to a location, right, then you got to go one big round and reach your destination. So obviously, if you go opposite direction, if you try going opposite direction, it will be a lot faster to hit the same destination. So minus alpha is applicable for fourth quadrant if the range allow. If the range doesn't allow, then too bad, then just ignore it. Okay, so that is the very tricky part on this question. Minus alpha. When will it be applicable? When your third step allow you a very negative range.